People are trying to figure out what side Elizabeth Warren is on, the side of the progressives or the side of the corporate Democrats. Now, to me, I think the answer is obvious. Warren has a history of supporting progressive policy, but I can understand the other side as well, because Warren hasn't really been as bold strategically as someone like, say, Bernie Sanders has. So, for example, last year, where when Warren had an opportunity to endorse Bernie during the primaries, she decided not to, even though her and Bernie align on essentially all the policies. She instead held back and waited to endorse Hillary Clinton once she had won the nomination. But Warren continues to say the right things and then sometimes say the wrong things. But she had an appearance on MSNBC where I think she said the right thing, even in the face of a media that continues to misunderstand what the electorate actually is. So I'm going to show you two clips from her appearance here on Morning Joe, and I'm going to highlight the insanity of the people asking the questions, and then also Warren's answers. So here's the first clip. Um, uh, let me ask you, you are so colorful. You are voluble <laughs> on the problems, as you perceive it, of the Republican Party. Tell me how you are seeing the Democratic Party right now in terms of this. Do you see it, as some observers do, as I do, that's what that means, <laughs> as a party increasingly riven between a rising left progressive half and a perhaps more moderate old Clintonian half. Is your party, you're united right now by Donald Trump, you're united in ferocity of opposition, but that long term, that won't be enough. What will hold you together? Are you a party increasingly divided? And if you are, do you ever wonder that or do you ever worry that the progressive or left side will overplay its hand and alienate part of America? So the way I see this, Peggy, is the real energy right now is right down at the grassroots. It's, it's folks who, many of them, have never been engaged directly in politics before. Yeah, they showed up, they voted sometimes, some did, some didn't. But it's the people who are saying right now, wait a minute, this is urgent, I need to get involved. So off the bat, I have to address Peggy Noonan and her question, because I've never seen somebody frame something so well and then fall on their face when they actually go to ask the question. So Peggy Noonan opens up by saying, there is this le rising left progressive half, which is totally true. I would say maybe it's a little more than, the, than half of the Democratic Party. But yes, there is a rising progressive movement within the Democratic Party. And then she also says the, there's then the, the more moderate Clintonian half, which is also true. There are more moderates, the, the older half, which... I don't think is really half of the Democratic Party, but whatever. Um, and then there's, and then she says, you are united in opposition of Donald Trump, but long term, that's not enough. Again, completely agree. We are both against Donald Trump, but long term, there needs to be actual goals in terms of policy goals that the Democratic Party is aligned on. And right now, that doesn't seem to be the case. But then she go, then Peggy Newton asked her question. Do you worry the progressive side will overplay its hand and alienate part of America? Completely misunderstanding what the electorate actually looks like. So if you actually go through the policies, policy by policy, it's progressive. Everybody, it, not everybody, the majority of people in the country support progressive policies. I'll just use two as an example. So on the question of taxes... Most people think that upper income people are paying too little, and they also think that corporations are paying too little. And on the question of healthcare, 60% of people believe that it's the government's responsibility to ensure that everybody has healthcare coverage. And I use those two examples because those are really the big debates in the country right now, healthcare and taxes. And on both those issues, people poll largely progressive. Over 60% of people are progressive on both those issues. So... This is the the weird the weird mistake or not even the mistake but just the complete unawareness of where the country actually stands on the issues. So, 
if the progressives were to rise up, let's say, and take over the Democratic Party, they wouldn't be overplaying their hand. They would actually be representing the majority of the country. Now, just to get to, to Warren's answer here. So she brings up, she Warren is really good at dodging the actual question. So of course she, she didn't directly answer Peggy Noonan, but she went, to, and she went on and said that, you know, the real energy in the Democratic Party is the grassroots, which I completely agree with. And this is one of those things that it's really hard to convince people like Peggy Noonan on television or even the people, even the politicians within Congress, within the Democratic Party, that the grassroots have the power. And they have the power to not only win back seats for the Democratic Party, but to take over seats that are currently held by corporate Democrats. And that's what groups like Justice Democrats are currently doing. Now, I want to get to the next clip here because I think Elizabeth Warren has a great answer that the journalist asking the question just sort of laughs off. Senator, good morning. Who's the leader of the Democratic Party right now? Uh, the grassroots. <laughs> I mean, you can either get in front of it and call it a parade, or you can stand to the side and be left behind. No, I mean, I mean specifically somebody either in that building behind you, somebody who is going to lead the party to electoral victory. Say me, Senator Warren. It's say so me. <laughs> it is an issue. Would you argue that it is an issue that the Democratic Party needs inspirational leaders? And I mean, why wouldn't you say that you're one of them? It, look, there are a lot of us out here fighting, but. My, my point is we really need people in this fight. So I love this clip because it sort of encapsulates everything that Elizabeth Warren is dealing with within the Democratic Party. She's trying to push a progressive message saying that the grassroots are the leaders of the Democratic Party. But then she just gets laughed off by people like Jeremy Peters of the New York Times who think that's a ridiculous notion. But I think she's right. Now... The other answer could be Bernie Sanders, but here's the reason why nobody says that. It's because Bernie Sanders is not a Democrat. And they Democrats would feel embarrassed having to say that Bernie Sanders is the leader of their party when he's an independent. So that's why, in case you're wondering why no Democrat ever says that, including progressives like Elizabeth Warren, it's because it's embarrassing to the party to admit that an independent is their leader. But apart from that, she's right. The grassroots are the true leaders because they are the visionaries. Groups like Our Revolution, Justice Democrats, and even the Democratic Socialists of America. These are groups that are aligned on policies and are pushing specific policies forward. And these are the policies that will make up the Democratic Party in five to ten years. So it's obvious that they are the leaders. And I don't just mean those groups, but I mean activists, people that are pushing these sorts of progressive policies. These are the leaders of the Democratic Party. But New York Times, Jeremy Peters, thinks it's hilarious to say that the grassroots are the leaders. Because they're so used to discussing, you know, the, the drama between different politicians. And what they're really trying to do is, is pin Elizabeth Warren down to get an answer from her. That they could use and be like, uh, use as a headline. Elizabeth Warren says she's the leader of the Democratic Party. Or Elizabeth Warren says Bernie Sanders is the leader of the Democratic Party. So this is the issue that Elizabeth Warren is facing. And this also shows how just unaware, once again, the media is of these grassroots organizations. So if you're a progressive and you don't like Elizabeth Warren, I get it. You want her to be bolder in how she approaches the Democratic Party. Because she doesn't call it out in the same way that Bernie Sanders does. But again, you have to understand, Elizabeth Warren is trying to work within the Democratic Party. And if she's going to go out there and say that the Democratic Party is completely upside down and we need new leadership or whatever you want her to say, she's going to be shut out of the conversation. Now, you may think, good, she should be. She shouldn't be talking to the corporate Democrats. But here's the thing, she ha leaving those channels of communication open allow her to come in and form alliances and get people on her side when it comes to trying to pass progressive legislation. Now, that is sort of a band-aid in the meantime. That's not a solution. The actual solution is to primary out those corporate Democrats. 
And that's something that Elizabeth Warren can't really help you with. But that's why she's saying the grassroots are the leaders of the Democratic Party. Because they are the ones that can primary out these corporate Democrats that Elizabeth Warren is currently trying to work with.